Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL K1 which is dealing with the SSS and SAS theorems. Okay, so the basis of these problems and these two theorems in general is that you can prove two triangles are congruent, meaning the same or equal or identical, whatever uh, you want to say, um, by either showing that the shapes have all three the same side lengths, hence the side, 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 or they have two, uh, one set of congruent sides followed by a set of congruent angles followed by a set, again, of congruent sides. So side, angle, and then side again. Okay, so uh, the question is asking here, which two triangles are congruent by SSS theorem? Okay, well, that just means which two triangles do we know are the exact same triangle meaning both angles and length of sides uh, based off of side, side, side theorem. So which two triangles have the three same sides? Well, it looks like the hypotenuse of these two each have four tick marks indicating they're gonna be the same. On the base down there, it looks like they have one tick mark. Okay, so they're the same. And then on the sides over here, two tick marks P. So they have uh, one, two, four, one, two, four. So these are gonna be proven congruent or identical triangles through SSS theorem. Over here, there is completely different uh, amount of tick marks for the sides, right? The amount of tick marks just indicates that any other side that matches the amount of tick marks is gonna be congruent. So uh, for instance, this side here is two, this side here is two, and then this side here is two, indicating all three of these sides would be congruent. But you know, this one is three. There's no three over here. So this is uh, a unique side compared to anything you see over here. So these two are gonna be the same. And then the question is gonna have you write in the congruent statement. Um, and remember all of the letters or points, you know, that you're going to type in for the statement have to match up between both shapes. So we're gonna start with P, which is between the side uh, with one tick mark and four tick mark. We'll start with P. And so now we have to go to the second triangle with the points between the one and the four tick marks. So one and four, and that's gonna be V. So we'll go over here and write V. Then we're going to go down to the points between the one and the two, which is gonna be R, so I'll type R over here. And then the point between one and two is gonna be X. And then we're gonna go up to Q between the two and the four. And then between the two and the four over here is gonna be W. And that's how we write our congruent statements for the two triangles that are congruent through SSS congruence. And there we go. Okay, which two triangles are congruent by SAS theorem? So now this is side angle side. Okay, well, immediately we'll look at all the tick marks here and we'll see that these two triangles both have one tick mark, both have three tick marks, and both have a single ring for their angle, meaning these two are going to be congruent. Right? If we go down here, this one has a two, which doesn't correspond with anything here. So, I mean, this, this triangle here is gonna be unrelated. So it's gonna be these two triangles. Okay, so now we are going to uh, write down the statements and we'll start with either one, it doesn't matter. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with the points between, uh, or right before the single tick mark and after the, what looks to be a 90 degree angle or 90-ish degree angle. So over here, that's gonna be R. And then over here, that is going to be T. And then we are going to go through the one tick mark and go to the point with the angle. That's gonna be Q. Okay, so go to T here, and then we end up at U. And then we finish up over at P, which is the 90 degree angle, and then S. So P, and then S, 90 degree looking angle. And like that, okay, cool, already up to 36. Okay, this one is side angle side. So remember it has to be a side followed by an angle followed by a side. So this triangle right here wouldn't make any sense because it's side side angle. Okay, remember the side has to be followed by the angle which has to be followed by another side. The angle is sandwiched between the two sides. So over here you can see immediately we do have side angle side and both are gonna have tick marks or two tick marks on the right side, followed by an angle with a single ring, followed by another side with just one tick mark. So 
This one's pretty easy. We're just going to do A, B, C, and G, I, H. So A, B, C, and G, I, H. Pretty easy one. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, this one is side, side, side theorem, SSS theorem. And so the questions are, are going to revolve between SSS and SAS. So, all right, it doesn't let me go any higher then uh, this point is, doesn't let me jump, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Just look for SSS and SAS. Remember, with SAS, the angle has to be between the two sides. And when you write the congruence statement, you have to write the uh, statements in order of congruence, right? With the corresponding sides or the corresponding angles. All right, stay safe, study hard, and I'll catch you for the next tutorial video. Goodbye.